and Harvard University from the United States of America in the Buck Station on the right-hand side of your screen. Attention. Go! That explosion from silence to incredible power that you get at the beginning of an eighth race. Here we are on Harvard. Look at that. Total focus, total concentration, and a total um, huge effort to move the boat off the blocks. We know that Nereus have been racing here at Henley for many years with a lot of success. Can these men take out the Temple Challenge Cup or are they going to have that road ended for them by Harvard University? Harvard has looked really strong out on the course these past few days, but these two crews locked bow ball for bow ball, very early stage of this race. Yeah, looking there at uh, Harvard, there's a bunch of experience in that boat, including Calvin Tarzi in the seven seat, who we saw, I think we both saw him uh, win at the Princess Elizabeth last year for St. Paul's, uh, alongside uh, Del de Graaf in the six seat. So they've got some real experience of winning at Henley here and a really smooth style, which they, I think, are trying to bring into the Harvard crew. Uh, loose shoulders, no unnecessary movement, just pushing through with the legs and swinging along. So this is the point where they're wanting to stretch out, make sure they're at full length and try to start hit a sustainable rhythm. But they are really, both crews really giving it a lot in this first stage of the race, I think. As we see the Harvard crew there on the screen. So this is a combination of the 1V and 2V crews from Harvard. Uh, Harvard's second Varsity 8, they won their category at the prestigious Yale Harvard grudge match that happens each year. They place fourth in the second Varsity 8s at the IRA State Championships and they were winners of the Eastern Sprints in the second Varsity 8s. And their crew actually contains uh, Calvin Tarsi, a former Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup winner at St. Paul's last year. That incredible crew that beat the record by 11 seconds in the PA. I mean, that was one of the most spectacular races I think we've ever seen at Henley. Um, quite something on a, on a day when many, many records fell. But we're looking here, uh, a pretty good race so far. Nereus, as you said, Sarah, have won before last one in 2015 in this event. And most of the crew have been rowing together for the last three years. Um, and their clocks, Amma and De Boer. It's her last year in the uh, in the student world, and so she's um, looking to go out on the high with this Nereus crew. But I think they're going to have their work cut out uh, for them because Harvard, no slouches, as you say, combining the first and the second varsity boats uh, in a combination that sets a campaign all the way through Henley. And there you can see her urging the crew on, looking across a, uh, at the right to see what's happening and the crew alongside. You've got to time your moves in the eights because things can change very fast. Absolutely, we can see both of these crews still very much locked together. Nearest just with a slight advantage over Harvard at the moment. Both of these crews sitting in the middle of the course. I think this is going to come down to some real guts and stamina in the last half of the race, but perhaps the Dutch just starting to edge away ever so slightly here. Yeah, I mean, I think it's um, it's time for Harvard to put in a response now because you need to be overlapping and you need to be on terms with the opposition. So I think George Cousins, the experienced Cox, uh, Eaton captain in 2017, also won the Princess Elizabeth with Eaton a couple of years before that. First time uh, a Cox has been captain there, is urging the crew on. And will David Fleming sitting in the stroke seat, 23 years of age, will he be able to pull out what he did in the Eastern Sprints? and uh, give some response back. We're right now, Nereus uh, are, are looking good, and they're not looking like they're tiring, Sarah. They're looking like they're holding on to that lead. Yeah, they do. Look, this is a class crew from the Netherlands. We've seen them here time and time again. We saw them win in 2015. Very strong. We see their cocks and just looking across the shoulder, just making sure that they have the measure of the crew from the United States. They've got their rate up just fractionally higher to me, it just looks punchier, more dynamic. It's going to be really difficult for the Harvard crew to get back onto terms here. Well, it shows the class of these two crews, and indeed the Temple Challenge Cup, which they're racing in, had a huge number of entries, 64 entries for 32 places. Incredibly competitive event, one of the most competitive events at Henley. Wow, but is that Harvard starting to make a late charge now? We knew it would come down to the last few hundred metres in this race, and we're starting to get there as they come towards the enclosures. 
are Harvard starting to make a move here. I it's mean, very close. I think it's a bold way to race, but it does seem that they're moving every stroke a few centimetres more up on the Nereus cruise. And my God, you know, we both of us know, Sarah, what it's like to be in a leading position and have a crew starting to come back. It's very, very hard. You start to ask the questions. Nereus, you know, have they done too much too early? And Harvard here, you can see every stroke. It's probably 10, 15 centimetres a stroke, maybe a little bit more when they're surging. What a race. Wow, this is what we get all came to see in the Temple Challenge Cup. Harvard and Nereus, two top-class university crews as they're coming down past the enclosures. It looks like Nereus has been able to answer that charge from Harvard that came there, that little challenge. Harvard were edging up on them, but I think Nereus has had a response to it. But still, it's only a couple of seats lead, maybe four seats lead to the Nereus crew. Yeah, we can see the rate going up in Nereus to try to respond and hold off Harvard. I think they have done. I think Nereus has pulled out probably a seat, maybe uh, two seats on the Harvard crew. So Harvard has thrown a big attack in, but it looks like Nereus are now responding to that question in style. Yeah, you're right. They've taken the rate up now. You can see they're overrating Harvard. They're getting more strokes in. They're staying composed, straight as an arrow as they come down towards the finish line here. Well, it's going to be tunnel vision in both boats. I think a very, very hard race. Uh, they're just going to be pushing on as much as they possibly can. You can see the bowman and the Harvard crew there. Andrew Morley look across over his shoulder. Uh, it's a long ask. It's a not very many strokes left, maybe five strokes left to the line. And they're looking around for the line. Boy, that race hurt. Nearest taking out the Temple Challenge Cup just ahead of Harvard. You can see how happy they are with that. What a race. The Nereus guys are absolutely delighted to beat the American crew.